We want to talk about building your playlist. This is a very important step in your live musicians toolkit. So here are a few things worth mentioning. Number one, for sure you want to start with those favorites, favorite artists you sound like. For me this has been James Taylor, uh, Jim Croce, um, John Denver, just to give you an idea. Who are those artists that you sound like? Who are the players that when you hear their songs you just start singing along? In fact, maybe people even mention to you, hey, you sound like so-and-so. Make sure you know who those people are. And then you want to take a look at the style or the genre that best fits how you sound. For instance, I don't do songs with uh, kind of in that Americana style or hard rock. I'm not a screamer. I have pretty good diction when I sing. So those styles of music where the diction is less clear and not as important, those don't fit me as well. That's something that I had to figure out, and you should too. And here's another really maybe obvious point, but you want to pick songs that fit your vocal range. Now, it is possible to transpose songs, move them around a little bit, kind of make it your own, and there's certainly, certainly good reason to do that. But start with those songs that fit your vocal range. Also, Take a look at instrumental accompaniment that lets your voice be highlighted. You want to make sure your audience can hear your voice over the instruments. And the accompaniment you choose can definitely impact that. Take a look at the keys of songs, the arrangements. For instance, a song that ends with lots and lots of choruses and great big huge band sounds. That might not fit for your particular style or the way that you do the song. And it's okay if you change the arrangement that allows for the best rendition of that song that you can perform. The same is true for keys. Also, you want to pick a method for organizing those chord charts. Lyric sheets might be online, might be paper. I'll make a few recommendations later in the course about some tools if you have a, a tablet like an iPad, some apps that you can run that make the storing and the organizing of all these chord charts a little bit easier. So again, these are just a few items you want to consider as you begin to build your playlist.